the shotgun. The tight end, Akins. Back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Levi Wallace with the stop. Pocket collapses around him and he throws an interception. Levi Wallace cut in front of it and comes up with the turnover. The fourth interception on the season thrown by Garoppolo. Guess who was sitting right on top of him? T.J. Watt. Second 11, Garoppolo second look, sideline to Fonte. Think of Fitzpatrick over on the sideline there along with Levi Wallace. Then you can see that Jimmy Garoppolo, anytime you get a receiver this hot, sometimes you just want to give him opportunities, right? And Devontae was definitely calling for the ball, got it there. The problem is in that particular coverage, you also are going to take a big shot from the free safety. Fourth and five, Garoppolo finds it underneath. Myers can't hang on. Back in the game, Levi Wallace breaks it up. And the Steeler defense. Pittsburgh with the lead. Tough to deal with. Their defense gets the Raiders off the field. Gets the ball back. Up 16. Josh Jenkins the back. Pitch. Cut it back inside. Levi Wallace got over there along with Montrevious Adams to send up third and goal. They're just so disciplined. Did you see Levi Wallace on that play? He wasn't going to make the tackle. All he was doing was going out here to cut him off, so he had to cut back in to his help coming. That's just the perfect defensive play in that situation. Down the field and put it up for grabs for Adams. Gets it the yards and is intercepted. Wallace gets the two feet down. He's got another pick. And the Steelers are going to come away with the victory. Interception number three on the night. Thrown by Garoppolo. Classic Pittsburgh Steeler <laughs> win. I mean, it just really is. They count on their defense to win football games. And tonight, the Pittsburgh Steelers look like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Little fake on the pitch, and the pass over the middle intended for Tank Dell is batted down. Excellent coverage there by Levi Wallace, who had that monster game last week in Las Vegas with two interceptions. Stroud fakes the handoff here, fires over the middle. And good coverage that time by Levi Wallace. It's an opportunistic defense with Fitzpatrick and Peterson and Levi Wallace. You can't make a mistake because if it's close, more times than not, Pittsburgh comes down with the ball. Jackson, pocket holds up, he lofts it high, and it's just over the outstretched arms of Rashad Bateman. Bateman a little slow getting up. Another opportunity for Bateman can't quite haul it in he's got the step and there's a little bit of a hand on the arm but the officials gonna never they're never gonna call anything like that you have to play through that with Levi Wallace good play by Wallace as a veteran Levis going for it all down the sideline and threw that one out of bounds Burks was there he's down and they'll turn the ball over with 206 one-on-one, wow. on one. Levis will fire down the left sideline, almost picked off at the very end there. It's Hopkins playing defensive back. I don't think he's played DB in a while. This is a heck of a job because Wallace's eyes are on the football. Great job by Wallace on that. Out of the pocket, on the move. He will throw it downfield, and it's off the hands of Yossi Vosh. Incomplete. I think Camp Hayward muddied up the pocket pretty quickly for Jake Browning to make him exit to his left. And that allowed the defensive backs to close on the receivers. And if even if Yossi Vosh comes down with this one, he's going to be out of bounds. The hole there. Oh, he's slippery. Look at him go. Carter's got speed. Taken down in the secondary. Brought down by Levi Wallace. That was a run. A burst of 19 yards. So beginning at their one, now they're down to the 48-yard line of the Steelers. Browning dials it up. Dangerous throw, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Tanner Hudson, who's become one of his favorite targets, and Levi Wallace, starting at one of those corner spots, comes up and makes a big play. Well, Levi Wallace made a nice read out of zone defense. Here's Wallace. His eyes are on the quarterback. He's not in man, so he finds the ball. It's Aguilar motioning into the slot, running him right across the middle. They take a look that way. It's a great job. They play man coverage. They create some one-on-ones. Watch this loop around. Watch that pass rush game. 
Armand Watts pressuring the quarterback right there. That's fantastic. Play man coverage, force, tight throws, and bad weather.